of the discourse. We've taken an abandoned concrete factory at the margins of the declining American empire and repurposed it into a battleground where 19 separate entities from across the political spectrum enter the discourse one by one and do battle to determine who controls the narrative force of the discourse. I hope you'll join me, your Southern Gothic futurist host, Dirt God Raven Mac, for each and every episode of Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. Hey, what's going on, folks? It's your boy, Dirt God Raven Mac, back here Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. We missed last week, took a one-week break, had some production difficulties. Uh, mainly speaking, I was riding down the road contemplating killing myself, uh, but I did not. So we are up here on week six of the Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse, um, seven-week series. Uh, people have been accumulating points the previous five weeks. Uh, we skipped a week, of course, last week, like I said. Um... But they come in this week, and the top 27 point getters will come back next week in our grand finale to crown the winner 2023 champion of the discourse. Um, everybody coming out tonight, right now, the cutoff point, I think, is like six points. So everybody who is coming out tonight has between one point and six points. So they've scored points in the first five weeks but have not sealed a guaranteed spot in the finale next week you can see our leaderboard after five events and none of these folks will be out here tonight um the woke mobster at the top ron desantis police state eric adams twit communist dark brandon tech lord and the bootlicker all those people will be here next week in our grand finale but they will not be with us here tonight and in fact let's go ahead and go on up to the ring and i guess i'm not entirely being honest because i say that we won't have those folks here but the police state and the woke mobster are going to be our referees here tonight and our first entry coming out is that brooklyn dad defiant let me check my notes here he has three points so far so he's coming out with three points and he will be trying to get some more points to make that finale next week and ben shapiro ben shapiro coming out as well and looking at my notebook here where is where's that little freak at yeah one point so ben shapiro has one point of course a lot has happened since two weeks ago when i was with you last we had the state of the union um a lot of reaction to that uh biden getting the own moment on on the republicans getting them to agree to not cut medicaid and, and social security but then also neoliberals making fun of white trash and then this past week this I, it's hard to even keep up with everything that's going on the discourse is un, unrelenting police state just tossed ben shapiro I don't really understand what that's about um, you can see ladders stacked up outside, seven ladders around the ring representing the meritocracy myth. And Ben Shapiro bought that piece of wood he picked up at Home Depot, and Brooklyn Dad Defiant is beating him with it. So again, all these guys are going to be trying to accumulate some extra points to seal entry into next week's grand finale. And we get a buzzer. And the National Guardsman is coming out, and I don't think he has much in terms of points. Let me check that out. Yeah, he has three points so far. So he's gotten a few points. He won't need much more to, to, to be set in this thing. So he joins the mix and he's giving a salute there. Again, police state and the woke mobster are your referees tonight. We have those meritocracy ladders outside the ring. A bunch of briefcases full of lobbyist money as well. Early on in this thing, discourse is not something I was excited to come back to, but I'm going to finish this seven-week series, and Josh Hawley coming out. You know, I kind of glanced through the beginning there, and I didn't make mention of the fact that this week's episode is sponsored by the School Marm. Former Charlottesville lady arm wrestler, actually my my girlfriend, the school marm is sponsoring this week, and she's been very helpful in me getting my shit together. So Josh Hawley comes out, senator. We got Josh Hawley, the National Guardsman, Brooklyn Dad Defiant, Ben Shapiro. And they're beating each other with that stick. And Brooklyn Dad Defiant and Josh Hawley are there on the apron. That's a dangerous spot to be. Either one of them could get eliminated. And it looks like at least Josh Hawley's made it back in. 
and Brooklyn Dad Defiant is, and we have the Free Thinker coming out. One of these Free Thinkers, we've had a number of them this season. Um, I don't know how many we'll see tonight, Bob. Do we know? Well, we don't know. Well, we're going to have a few of these Free Thinkers out tonight trying to make the final field. Neat throws that dumbbell and nails Josh Hawley right upside the head. Once again, thank you to our sponsor, The School Marm. I apologize for not mentioning it at the top of the show. Trying to get back into the swing of things here at the last minute. Josh Hawley and that free thinker seem to be going at each other. And we get a buzzer. And let's see who's coming out now. And it's Lauren Boebert. Lauren Boebert, Colorado Congresswoman. Gun nut. National Guardsman knocked over the top rope there by Ben Shapiro, so he gets eliminated. I don't know if that's going to give him enough points to make it into our finale. Sitting on three. Let's see, Lauren Boebert has two points, so she's going to need to try to get a few points here tonight to make the finale, I would think. I think, you know, in our last season, it was about six points was the cutoff to make the finale. I don't know what it'll work out to this time. Freethinker has Lauren Boebert and that full Nelson and then Brooklyn Dad Defiant nails him. And here comes Elon Musk. Elon Musk, seen at the Super Bowl, sitting with Rupert Murdoch, showing his class loyalties, class allegiances. Uh, I love how these billionaires who are very obviously right-leaning like to think that they're open-minded centrists. It's like you get to a point that like you have extreme wealth and you want to hoard it and you consider it a centrist notion to hoard your extreme wealth. And Lauren Boebert knocked over the top rope there by Josh Hawley, so she is out. I do not think we'll be seeing her next week. So Brooklyn Dad Defiant, Ben Shapiro, our two starters are still out there. Josh Hawley, Senator from Missouri, free thinker, Elon Musk, and coming out to join the crowd, Matt Taibbi. Matt Taibbi's holding that trophy. Rolling Stone, Hunter S. Thompson, wannabe of the year for about eight years in a row. And he's on the top rope. That's kind of dangerous spot to be. And he comes off and nails Josh Hawley. And he's really going at Josh Hawley over there. Going for the pin and he might get him. He does. Matt Taibbi just takes out Josh Hawley quickly. So Josh Hawley was no match for Matt Taibbi when he came out motivated. You got to think Elon Musk and Matt Taibbi might work together in there. And we get a buzzer and it's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Of course, that State of the Union made a lot of noise. Literally, quite literally making a lot of noise. Cat calling the president. And then mocked afterwards for being white trash. But let me just clarify for those of you who don't know. Marjorie Taylor Greene is pretty wealthy, and she is living in a McMansion, and she has never once come close to being trailer trash, so maybe check those class biases. Ben Shapiro for one count on Elon Musk, Marjorie Taylor Greene nailing people with that piece of Georgia plywood. Matt Taibbi rolling up Marjorie Taylor Greene, can he get the pin here? Nope, just a one count. And yeah, we got a buzzer, and it's Katie Porter, California Congresswoman. I believe she said she's running for that Senate seat. Diane Feinstein, a lot of Democrats are clamoring for that spot. They know Senate is a lifetime appointment if you're careful. I mean, Diane Feinstein's been senator from California since, I believe, since California was created. So we've got, well, free thinker over the top rope, and he gets back in. It's about to reset the field. I guess I'll wait till we get a buzzer here. We're almost at another buzzer, so. And just like that, Ben Shapiro got pinned by Matt Taibbi. So we do get a buzzer. And coming out now is that legacy blue check. So this is not one of those subscribe blue checks. This is a legacy, former, verified blue check. Will he be going after Elon Musk? I don't know. So we have Brooklyn Dad Defiant, the free thinker, Elon Musk, Matt Taibbi, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Katie Porter, and that legacy blue check out there. And I did not see what happened, but Katie Porter got knocked out there as well. She was eliminated. Yeah. 
Elon Musk on that apron with Marjorie Taylor Greene. They're both out there. And she's kicking at him. We get a buzzer and the lady cop comes out. And Elon Musk makes it back in. Now the lady cop, police state, they are friends. You got to think that's going to go together. And she is beating people with that nightstick as she comes out. And Brooklyn Dad Defiant got tossed on the far side of the ring. So he lasted a while. I don't think he actually got any points tonight, though. So he probably won't be back next week in our finale. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the breakdown on the ties is. And the free thinker going for a pin on Marjorie Taylor Greene. But that woke mobster is counting really slow. Showing a little bias there. The woke mob refusing to count for that free thinker. And here comes long COVID. Long COVID coming out. I've met this man personally. Long COVID joining the joining the melee, joining the debacle. Lady Cop getting pinned by Legacy Blue Check, but only a one count. Long COVID fighting with Free Thinker and Legacy Blue Check just runs straight into Long COVID. Now the police state is beating on Elon over there in the corner. Big suplex on Elon by Long COVID. And we get a buzzer and come in to join the mix. Another free thinker. More free thinkers. You can never have too many free thinkers, can you? Man, wouldn't it be great if they thought different things when they were free thinking, though? It's odd to think of somebody considering themselves a free thinker. But yet they think the same thing everybody else who's a free thinker does. Like, wouldn't you think they would think something different? Like, isn't that the essence of free thinking? Of course not. It's all a charade. Everything's just plain. Everything is cosplaying nowadays. K-fabing our political beliefs. Long COVID knocked over the top rope. And then Legacy Blue Check going at him, but they keep fighting him. Long COVID nails Legacy Blue Check, and you can hear him coughing. And here comes Do Your Own Researcher. Do Your Own Researcher joining the mix. That podcaster who always felt he was shadow banned. Of course, he's now bought his Twitter subscription. It's funny to watch those of you who are on Twitter who have started retweeting subscribe Blue Checks without even thinking about it. Elon going over the top rope, and he is out. I hope we don't get to see him next week. I'd like to never see him again. He's a huge piece of shit. Lady cop. Can't tell if she jumped off the rope there or got knocked off and long COVID got tossed as well. So we had a string of quick eliminations. And here comes the Unabomber. My man, the Unabomber. Yeah, Bob, I'm rooting for the Unabomber. I am definitely rooting for the Unabomber. Have you read Technological Slavery? You know the story of the Ship of Fools? Because we're living it. Look up the Ship of Fools. Unabomber. It's a pretty good story. And it's very fitting. Matt Taibbi pinned over there by one of those free thinkers. So we have a pair of free thinkers. Marjorie Taylor Greene, the Legacy Blue Check. Do your own researcher and the Unabomber. My man. Hey, goodbye, do your own researcher. He's gone. He can research the outside of the ring. Long COVID choking him out over there afterwards. And not an FBI agent comes out. Not an FBI agent joining the Monday Night Rumble of Discourse. Let this be a warning to all of you who are doing anything resistant to the state. You're always going to have that person that shows up and tells you very clearly they are not an FBI agent. Why do they tell you that? Make you feel more comfortable so that you don't realize that they probably are an FBI agent. So if you have that one person trying to talk you into doing other things, escalating things a little too fast and unnecessarily, that's probably not an FBI agent. And a free thinker with a nice sidewalk slam there on the Legacy Blue Check. And that's it for the Legacy Blue Check. And another free thinker comes out to join. So we have six folks in the ring right now and three of them are free thinkers so we have three free thinkers the unabomber an actual free thinker marjorie taylor green an actual idiot and then not an fbi agent but one of those free thinkers just gave it up so we are one free thinker less (laughs) 
I haven't been keeping track. I think we might still have about nine people coming out. Yeah, that's right, Bob. I'm not keeping track as close as normal. I was very frustrated last week. You know, I apologize for not having the rumble of the discourse, having everything put back a week, but honestly, who gives a fuck about the discourse? Here comes Debbie DSA, that roller derby chick and local democratic socialist. She jumps into the mix. <coughs> Unabomber over the top rope. Come on, Ted. Don't fall. He's back in. Straight up, I'm rooting for the Unabomber. I want him to win the whole thing. I want him to run the table tonight and run it next week too, baby. Life's too short for me to not root for somebody. They're all clustered up in the corner. We got a six folks in here and a Unabomber just dropped by not an FBI agent. Shades of historical truth there. And the Unabomber nailed by not an FBI agent. George Santos coming out. Seems like every week this New York congressman has some other story come out about him. I guess he married a Brazilian woman now. And a free thinker tossed over the top rope. So we're down to one free thinker left. See who we got here. We got a free thinker, Marjorie Taylor Greene and George Santos from Congress. Unabomber from Supermax Prison. Not an FBI agent from Parts Unknown. And Debbie DSA from Local Politics. And there's a pin on Marjorie Taylor Greene. Debbie DSA has eliminated Marjorie Taylor Greene. The people of Georgia are furious. And we get a buzzer and it's AOC coming out. New York Congresswoman AOC's only gotten one point in our winter series so far. So she's definitely going to need to run up some points here. Debbie DSA is choking on George Santos. Got a submission hold on him. Unabomber going for a pin on the free thinker, but nobody counts it. And Woke Mobster finally gets over there. Now George Santos trying to eliminate Debbie DSA for full Nelson, but broken up. Unabomber dropped by the free thinker. That was a devastating move. No, kick out, Ted. Oh, Ted. Ted. Unabomber pinned by the free thinker. There's nothing sacred. And here comes the wealthy leftist. That is just perfect. The Unabomber steeped in his theory and practicing it in real life, followed up by the wealthy leftist who speaks his theory but practices nothing of it and is a performative, wealthy asshole. So we got the free thinker, not an FBI agent, Debbie DSA, George Santos, AOC, and the wealthy leftist. Got a little hint for the wealthy leftist. The best way to fulfill your philosophy is to redistribute your wealth. That's all you have to do. And here comes BLM, Black Lives Matter, coming into the mix. That free thinker's been busted wide open. Unabomber's out, so I'm pulling for Black Lives Matter now. So we've got free thinker, not an FBI agent, Debbie DSA, George Santos, AOC, the wealthy leftist, and Black Lives Matter, who just took a shot to the back of the police state when he was turned. Gotta love that. Get those shots in, baby. Free thinker is busted wide open. He's a bloody mess. George Santos, not an FBI agent, going on. The wealthy leftist fighting Black Lives Matter. We get a buzzer in his house. Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Here comes House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, and I believe we have three people left coming out, so we're winding down. And George Santos got tossed, so he's gone. George Santos will have to tell people he won this week, and even though he didn't. He got no points this week. I don't think George Santos will make our final next week either. I don't know, though. Checking my notebook again. Kevin McCarthy had two points so far before tonight, so he's going to need to try to get some points. And we get a buzzer, and coming out is that story time drag queen, library drag queen. So this librarian drag queen, and I know know, know my sponsor tonight, the school mom, my girlfriend. This is 
one of her favorite people that she's met. She comes to these events with me when when she can, um, and she she loves this story time drag queen. So I know she'll be pulling for her. The story time drag queen just nails the wealthy leftist. Just staying on him, but he's fighting back. BLM just nailed that not an FBI agent. Library drag queen and wealthy leftists continue to be locked up with each other. Debbie DSA looks like she's been busted open. We get a buzzer, and here he comes. From the south side of Facebook, a stand this reply guy, and he's got that sledgehammer. He found Elon Musk's sledgehammer now. He's coming in, he's looking to whoop somebody. And he nails that free thinker first of all. Now he's going after that wealthy leftist, it looks like. And there's a pin on the free thinker, and he is gone. So all our free thinkers have been eliminated. So we've got eight folks in there, and one more to come. One last person, and BLM with a big move on Debbie DSA. And she is eliminated, so we're down to seven now. And here comes our buzzer and our last entrance. President Biden. He had that glorious State of the Union where he seemingly tricked Republicans into acting like... And there's a pin on AOC. Black Lives Matter. Eliminating a couple people really quickly here. So Biden got that gotcha moment and the wealthy leftist is gone. So we're thinning them down real quick here. And there goes Kevin McCarthy knocked off by that library drag queen. So we have quickly gotten down to five people. And our final four will, of course, get bonus points. So we've got not an FBI agent, Black Lives Matter, that library drag queen, the reply guy, and President Biden, man. He's trying to make that final field next week. And he just drops not an FBI agent with reply guy, and Biden gets the pin. So not an FBI agent is gone. We're down to our final four. Well, you can make that three, because just as quickly, Biden got kicked over. And Library Drag Queen kicked over, but she gets back in. So we got Black Lives Matter, Library Drag Queen, and Reply Guy are our final three. Now, this is the type of discourse I can get down with. I actually would enjoy having all three of these take part in the discourse. I mean, I don't agree with Reply Guy, but... I enjoy hearing him explain his thoughts more than hearing the people that he watches explain his thoughts to him. And there's a pin on Reply Guy. Kick out at two. And a kick to the back of the library drag queen by BLM. Police state and the woke mobster are a strange combination of refs for tonight. But that's what we got. BLM on that top rope. Library drag queen over the top rope. And BLM with a spinning leg drop on Reply Guy. That was crazy. Now that the library drag queen is up there. Oh, and Reply Guy just got kicked into the mat. He should get the pin here. Police state counting really slow, though. That was a super slow count. Police state showing his bias. Backhand there by BLM on the library drag queen. Reply guy smaller than both of his competitors, but he's hanging tough. Give the man credit. BLM holding reply guy in a devastating headlock right now, squeezing. Squeezing the blood flow to the head. Punching him in the head at the same time now and then. Black guy trying to fight back. Library drag queen to fool Nelson once BLM got up though. So Biden got the three bonus points. Our next person out will get five bonus points towards our finale. And then second will get seven and first will get ten bonus points. You got to figure the three that get bonus points. All three of these guys should be here next week I would imagine. Bonus points should get them in. Reply guy trying to get that dumbbell, but Library Drag Queen get, hits him before he can. BLM and the Drag Queen are sort of teaming up on him. But he's still got fight in him. And then they both try to get up Library Drag Queen. 
discourse makes strange partners from time to time. But she's got that arm lock on BLM. That's a submission hold. You can hear that shoulder hurting. And she's really clamping it on. Reply guy crawling around on the ground. He's finally getting back to his feet. Will BLM give it up? He's in that corner. There's no break from being in the ropes. Can he hold on? You can hear the muscles crunching. The library Dracula will not let go. Cinching it in harder and harder. And he goes over the top rope. He's not eliminated yet. And gets back in. And then drops the library drag queen. And that's a pin. One, only a one count. That was something. Really came back fighting. On the top rope. Careful there. And there's a pin on reply guy. from Only a one count. And then Black Lives Matter over the top rope. He's not eliminated. He's back in again. Dodged a bullet. He's back over it again, though. Reply guy right there. Can he get back in a third time? Yes, he can. So he's flirting with disaster on that ring apron. And he goes over this time and does not make it back. He is eliminated. Gets those five bonus points. Library Drag Queen rolls up Reply guy right away. Only a two count. BLM laid out ringside that arm lock that was held for a while but library drag queen was really rough so now it's library drag queen reply guy fighting for the final two here one of these is going to win our discourse in week six both of them should be back next week for week seven but that 10 bonus points that puts you further in the lineup they come out in reverse order next week so the more points you have the later in the order you come out better chance you have at becoming the champion of the winner 2023 discourse of course, the police state and the woke mobster are on that leaderboard. They'll both be out late next week, too. Oh, Reply Guy nailed with that dumbbell over the top rope. He's staggering. Library Drag Queen hits him, and he's gone. He's eliminated. Library Drag Queen wins this week's Rumble of the Discourse, wins week six, eliminates Reply Guy. And you can see her, Reply Guy, giving her the middle finger, but she doesn't care. She's nothing but happy that she won. Let's look at that replay. Reply Guy nailed upside the head with that dumbbell goes over the top rope and then he heads heads on down hits the floor so let's look at our standings from tonight tonight's results library drag queen 13 points reply guy got eight points eliminated one person with those seven bonus points blm is seven matt taibbi and president biden up there free thinker debbie dsa and free thinker so only two points for that free thinker that means everybody else had one or less not a lot of movement in the in the um standings we can look at our leaderboard after tonight the woke mobster and the library drag queen are tied now wow ron DeSantis, 17 points he'll be coming out third to last or second to last police state with 16 dark brandon eric adams the twitter communist the tech lord the bootlicker there's your leaderboard folks we will be back next week with our finale of the winter 2023 season. As always, this is supported by my Southern Gothic Futurist Patreon. I would ask you to click the link in the description down below. Think about throwing some money at me on a monthly basis to support all that I do artistically, philosophically, and otherwise. I'm a Southern Gothic Futurist. I'm a greater Appalachian unorthodox priest. Uh, you probably waste money on way stupider things than me, so why not give me a couple dollars? Uh, but until next week, I'm going to say so long, and I'll catch you next time with next week's grand finale, and we'll see who wins the discourse for winter 2023. Salam.